Hey YouTube, what's up? Huge update for you guys of the 120. It seems like it's, it, it feels like it's been a while since I've uh, let you guys in on what's going on with this tank. But uh, yeah, I've just been really busy. Um, actually, with my phone, real quick, I just want to explain to you guys. Um, I updated my phone, my iPhone, and it's just kind of had a tough time uh, sending videos to YouTube for whatever reason. But um, it's it's better now. Um, so yeah. But anyways, I just want to jump jump into this real quick before I ramble on for too long. Um, so yeah, what what am I what am I hanging over my tank here? Uh, what fixtures are these? These are actually called Reef Torch LEDs, as you guys can see there. I picked these up used um, from a former coworker of mine, and uh, the guy who makes them, I believe it's, I believe he's mainly local here in Florida, and um, you know a lot of uh, local fish stores use these lights um, over their display reefs. Um, I worked at the fish store for a long time, and uh, this we had one of these over uh, over our display tank, and it always looked really nice. Um, it, and the tank was 3,500 gallons, so it always, it, you know, didn't take much to light it, um, you know, even with these. So it was just, I, I was kind of uh, dead set on getting these for a while. And uh, But you can, I believe you can order them um, from outside of Florida. Um, mainly this guy kind of, mostly word of mouth. Um, he, he comes to a lot of conventions locally and everything like that. Um, but yeah, you can go onto his website, and I believe, like I said, I believe you can order outside of his like, kind of jurisdiction or whatever um, and get him wherever you want. Um, I believe he's run 500 brand new. I bought this one here, this is an older model um, for 300 and I bought this uh, model here which is newer uh, for 350. Um, but like I said, I think they're 500 brand new, don't quote me on that though. Um, yeah, so you, as you guys can see, well, the older model which I do prefer, um, I mean the color is not that noticeable. Um, but I do prefer the uh, old, older model. Um, you know, I do kind of hate that they don't have a fan on top of it, so it does get a little bit warmer. Um, but it doesn't really affect the tank because it's so high up. Now, why is this light uh, higher than the other one? Um, there's really only one simple reason for that, and that is because I'm an idiot and I didn't measure correctly. Um, but I don't really mind it too much. And uh, I think it still, still looks really, really nice. And excuse the uh, algae scraper there, but yeah. Um, so Reef Torch LEDs, I'm absolutely obsessed with these things. They light the tank like, you know, the, 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 my my phone is just not not doing it doing the tank justice at all. Um, I mean, it just looks absolutely fantastic. Let me give you guys a close up shot here. Um, the fish love it, the coral love it. Um, yeah, it's just f phenomenal. Completely, completely uh, amazed with these lights. Um, and, and you know, the, the, the camera's making it look uh, making the tank look a little bit more blue than it really is. Um, it has a really nice balance of blue and white. Um, it really, honest to God, looks like um, you're diving in a reef out in Indonesia or Hawaii or somewhere like that, the Caribbean. Um, and I just think it, 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 you know, you know, as far as I know, you know, you know, my experience with these lights, I highly, highly recommend them. Um, I've had them over this tank for, I've had the lights actually for about uh, eight or nine months now. I just haven't hung them up yet. Um, but they've been over the tank for about a month, maybe month and a half. And uh, so far, I mean, the even the coral line has just exploded. Um, you know, you can't really probably notice this since my la my last video, but it's definitely here and there a lot. Hang on one second. <laughs> Sorry about that, but uh, yeah, um, and probably my two uh, pincushion urchins have been munching on it a lot too. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's it's just uh, it, amazing. Now. Um, you know my stock in coral is pretty low at the moment right now um, and that's due to the fact that uh, originally I had a T5, 4 ball T5 Coral Life uh, fixture over this, over this setup and uh, same, same light I had over my Sony 5 and I hadn't replaced the bulbs in forever and it just wasn't, wasn't doing the job and so pretty much every coral I had in there withered, withered away over time uh, most every coral you know I had frog spawn um, that did well for a while then died off, I had zoanthids um, I had a lot of LPS it felt like and it all just kind of withered away over time um, but I'd still have this guy here the Pagoda Cup I believe LPS I mean this thing is the hardiest hardiest coral I have ever ever owned ever cared for I mean it's been you know from tank to tank to tank I originally had it in my 75 I've had it for well over a year now and uh, probably two years actually and it's been through hell and back to say the least I mean this thing when I tented my house, it sat in a trash can with live rock, you know, in a warehouse, not, you know, somewhere, you know, it just sat in there for a couple days. I mean, this thing has been sitting in the dark for a while. It's been jammed under rocks. It's been in my refugium. I mean, it's, 
it's really amazing. I mean, obviously, it's not doing the best that it could be, and it definitely look, doesn't look nearly as good as it did when I originally purchased it. Um, but the fact that it's gone through what it's gone through and it's already picking back up the way it has, um, and the, and the uh, it's starting to regrow and and the flesh is coming back around the around the skeleton here. You guys can see that. Um, it's just amazing, honestly. I don't know what else to say. And I really like this coral. So hopefully, you know, I'm, I have high hopes for this, and it's gonna get back to its original original uh, health and everything. So yeah. Also over here is this. Um, I think it's called the Candle Bra. Uh, photosynthetic gorgonian from the Caribbean and it didn't it wasn't doing so hot either um, for the same reasons the lighting I mean not for the same reason but the lighting in uh, the T5 just wasn't doing it and it was starting to wither away, wither away as well um, but it's coming back for sure same with the other uh, candle bra over here same species just uh, different I, I bought them from different places um, this one's coming back um, so I believe those are the only three corals I have in the tank um, you know, I even had some green star polyps on this rock. Um, just, it was just caked over this rock, and those died off as well. So, I mean, that, that just goes to show you. Um, but, yeah, so the corals, the three main corals that I have in this system, I'm probably forgetting one or two, but um, are coming back with, you know, with having these lights over the tank for, like I said, only about a month, month and a half, and they're already picking back up for sure. Um, so I'm really, really excited for what, you know, what I have to, to add to this tank uh, later on. Uh, I'm really... Now, as far as what kind of corals I want to be adding to this tank, what kind of what kind of reef I want to make this, um, I pretty want to, pretty much want to have a mix of everything. But mainly, um, the kind of look I'm going for is sort of a Caribbean style reef. Um, like I said, I live in Florida and I've I've snorkeled over in the Keys, and so I, I mean it's sort of a you know maybe a, a sentimental thing. But I really just you know personally, me personally, I'm not a big fan of like the rimless bare bottom sterilized looking SPS tanks with the school of anthes swimming around. It's really just personally not my kind of thing. Um, I kind of like more of a variety, more of, I, li I like a lot of movement. Um, I like a tank, you know, that's why I'm such, uh, such a fan of refugiums. Um, I, I'm the type of guy that wants to like stare at a refugium um, sometimes for longer than I am actually the display tank because I just think it's so neat seeing all the little critters and everything crawl around and swim around and float everywhere. And um, So yeah, yeah. <laughs> I want to have a whole bunch of Gorgonians. Basically what I'm going to try to do is have a bunch of uh, photosynthetic mainly uh, Gorgonia is just a jungle um, throughout the tank and just have like an, an, a lot of flow so it's pacing back and forth like that and uh, yeah and, and you know here in Florida we get in these photosynthetic gor Gorgonians all the time I mean every fish store carries them and they're for, for really really cheap I bought this huge one here uh, which was even bigger when I, uh, when I bought it uh, for 10 bucks I mean it's it's pretty crazy so yeah um, Gorgonians, Recordia mushrooms, I love Recordias, um, and that's another thing we get in really cheap here. I mean, one uh, head, one mushroom um, of Recordia it costs about 15 bucks, 10, 15 bucks here. Um, so I want to have a lot of those. And um, a long tentacle anemone, that's what I'm going to be trying to get because um, one of my local fish stores here has a, uh, two of them that have been there for a long time that are really, really healthy. Um, so I'm going to put those guys in here, or one of them in here and see how uh, my clowns like them. I've got the percula there, and I've got the skunk over here, which um, got sucked in the overflow a couple, maybe a week or two ago, and I just haven't been able to get them out. I tried to get them out, and I pretty much just scraped my hand on all these feather dusters here, so I haven't bothered. Um, hopefully he'll get sucked down there, and I can get him out of the sump refugium. Um, but yeah, more of a Caribbean style reef. Um, not much SPS, if any SPS. Um, I want to have a lot of clams. Um, I love, love clams. Uh, feather dusters as well, even though they're not photosynthetic, I'm going to be getting a lot of feather dusters, hopefully some cocoa worms. Um, I'm going to try to get my hands on a Christmas tree rock, Christmas tree worm uh, colony. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's just it, this tank is going to look different, <laughs> a lot different than what you've seen before. Um, that's kind of what, what I'm going for there. Um, and the lighting is pretty much can cover whatever I want to put in here. If I wanted to put SPS, I could, um, but that would require more other things as well, not just lighting. Um, but yeah, so what... What do I have in the tank right now that you probably saw in my last video, but what's still in here? I've got Nemo, the Percula, Australian Percula Clown with the tiny left fin there, uh, which is why I call him Nemo. I've got Serge, the Azure Damsel, Hudson, the Flamingo Tang, who's just, um, I, I mean, his blue spots and blue lips just glow under this lighting. Um, the Azure Damsel as well, just, I mean, it's, I really want to add some more blue fish, probably some blue reef chromis. Um, and maybe maybe a yellow belly uh, hippo tang, and because uh, I mean I just think not only do I love those fish, um, but the lighting just really really uh, favors blue. It seems like, um, 
real quick, here's this little feather duster here that hitchhiked on a, a live rocket bot. Um, that's, that's doing pretty cool. I think that's called a dwarf fuzzy feather duster, something like that. Um, there's Voodoo the Skunk Cleaner Shrimp who uh, molted pretty recently. Uh, there's the Mora, Zebra Mora Eel kind of sleeping, I guess, just resting. There he is, kind of jammed under a rock there. Um, he kind of likes to do that during the day. Um, I haven't come up with a name for him yet. Um, the Skunk Clown I already showed you. Um, I've got my Spotted Mandarin, which I just post, posted a video of. I'll try to find him here, uh, but if I can't, I'm not going to waste too much time trying to, trying to find him. Uh, yeah, I don't see him. A couple rocks have been knocked over here and there, so that's why it kind of looks a little bit cluttered, a little bit, not cluttered, but a little bit messy. Let me show you guys a side view there of the tank. Yeah, so some rocks got knocked over. I can't really find my spotted man but I just saw him. Um, he's somewhere in here. And down below, real quick, want to give you guys an update on this down here, the refugium. I need to top off my tank. That's, uh, you know, I need to buy an auto top off, um, but the water level has definitely dropped. I added, uh, I think it was six, six mollies that I, that I uh, transferred over from freshwater, and I lost a couple. I bought a gold dust molly. I lost that one. I lost a Dalmatian molly. Um, however, I think the three platinums and one other Dalmatian are still, still kicking. There you go. You guys can see there's one platinum molly and one Dalmatian over there. I believe there's two other platinums still, still swimming around somewhere. Um, also, this mangrove is just doing fantastic. Uh, mangroves definitely are slow growers, but... Um, they grow locally. Red mangroves are just everywhere. Um, I went down to, down my street at the canal, and I can pick up you know as many as I want. Granted, that is illegal, so I'm not condoning that. Um, but yeah, uh, I went down to my park today and picked up uh, eight or nine of them uh, pods, and they've all kind of been blown over in this in this side here. Um, but yeah, so I want to have a lot of mangroves in here. Also, you guys will notice my skimmer is missing, and the reason for that is um, my large skimmer that um, I got from the scumbag I used to work for. Um, just wasn't doing it. It wasn't working correctly. So I took that out, threw in my um, old Core Life one for my 75 gallon. That wasn't doing anything. Um, so I realized, you know, it, the skimmers just weren't doing what I'd like them to do. And they're just kind of taking up space, taking up room. And so I just ripped it out. And so what I'm going to do is kind of experiment here. Um, put a lot of Ketomorpha down here. Um, and miscellaneous algae, like the tufted jointed algae and, and things like that. Um, a lot of some more live rock mangroves things like that um, because you know my ideal system would be just something that looks different and something that runs a little bit more it, it can kind of sustain itself um, now am I dissing skimmers not at all if I, if I had the money honestly I'd be going out and buying a, a reef octopus or something like that um, and setting that up or like a bubble um, king bubble king I think that, I think that's what they call it something like that um, do I, I like skimmers, but the ones I currently have my hands on now just aren't doing it for me. So right now, in the meantime, I'm going to be experimenting with different allergies and, and plants and seagrass and things like that I can, that I can pick up locally, um, both at my fish stores and in the local waters, and uh, see how everything does that way. Um, but yeah, a lot, a, lot, a lot to come, guys. A lot of new stuff happening. I'm really excited. A lot more videos coming. A lot, um, I'm going to do the Q&A video probably after I film this. And so that'll be up really, really soon. Um, but yeah, like the video. If you like it, please leave a comment. If you have anything to say at all, if you hate my tank, if you love my tank, whatever. Um, actually, what I, want, what I want to start doing is kind of getting you guys involved, asking you different questions, and wanting you know, want you guys. I want you guys to let me know what you think because I, I love hearing the opinions of other other uh, hobbyists and reefers and whatever you want to call yourself. Um, what is your ideal setup? Some people, like I said. Some people love the rimless bare bottom SPS tanks with the Antheus and everything like that. So if, if you love that, let me know. If you want something more along the lines of mine, which is, has Gorgonians and kind of a messy sort of looking tank uh, with seagrass and things like that, um, if that's your thing, let me know. Uh, if you want a mixed reef with everything, LPS, SPS, softies. Um, maybe you don't like reef tanks at all. Maybe you like a fish only. Maybe you like a predator tank. Uh, maybe you like nanos, maybe you like huge tanks, whatever it is you like, please let me know your, your dream setup in the comment section below. Subscribe if you haven't, if you have, I really do appreciate it guys, I can't tell you guys that enough. Um, and yeah, hope your tanks are doing good. Comment, rate, and subscribe. Thanks guys. Bye.